Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically linebacker Matthew Thomas out of Florida State. Uh, so we're going to go over his analytics profile, uh, going over his production data, his athleticism data, to give you somewhat of an idea of what his potential is at the next level based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel and you you're new to the content that I provide. All terms and definitions will be in the description. Uh, so if you're not familiar with what uh, solo tackle market share is, if you're not familiar with what explosive lower body strength score is, speed score, or flexibility score, all those terms and definitions will be in the description. So uh, starting out with Matthew Thomas's profile, uh, when you look at his production profile, he had a 66.16 uh, solo tackle uh, score. Uh, since uh, the 1989 NFL draft class, 100% of multiple All-Pro linebackers had at least a 90 or higher score, and 100% of Pro Bowl linebackers, multiple Pro Bowl linebackers, at least three Pro Bowl considerations in their career, had at least a 77 or higher in terms of solo tackle data. So Matthew Thomas, unfortunately, does not hit any of the high-quality outcomes. Uh, he does hit at least a starter threshold of 20.5. Uh, and also when you look at the averages at the position, so what the the average all pro score, the average Pro Bowl score, and the at and the average starter score, uh, Matthew Thomas is also a little bit below average. Uh, all those scores as well. Um, so the only real concern with Matthew Thomas is his production data. He does not have the production indicative of a potential long term starter. At least it's not guaranteed that he could become a long term starter because of how poor his solo tackle data is. Now. He does have very good athleticism data. Um, when you look at his athleticism scores, he had a 95.42 explosive lower body strength score, uh, 72.38 speed score, and 81.14 uh, flexibility score. Uh, in many ways, he has Pro Bowl athleticism traits. He doesn't quite hit the speed score necessary for an All-Pro uh, player, at least to say that he has All-Pro athletic upside, but he does have at least the profile of a Pro Bowl linebacker. Um, so that's essentially what you're dealing with is you have a linebacker here that has the athletic upside of a Pro Bowl player but without the production of an all pro or Pro Bowl player. Now what do you do with a player like that? Well you draft them a little bit later than everybody else. Um, there definitely is a chance you could, you could become a long-term starter because most of the times players that have below uh, the area in terms of production data are very good athletes. Um, guys that are similar to this uh, for example uh, are uh, guys like Scott Fujita. Um, he's one of the guys that kind of had below average uh, production data that went on to become a long-term starter. Uh, of course, you also have DeAndre uh, Levy, uh, who is another linebacker who had kind of below average production data, uh, but ended up becoming a long-term starter. And he was a very good athlete coming out uh, and, and so on and so forth. So I think, again, when it comes to Matthew Thomas, you should view him as a linebacker that is a little bit of a risk because of his production profile but he does have the athleticism traits necessary to give you somewhat of a boost uh, in terms of his overall profile at the next level. So I think if you view him as a potential long-term starter based on this production profile and athleticism profile, then I don't think you'll lose any money. If you think that this is a guy that's going to become a multiple all-pro, multiple pro Bowl type, it's a lot less likely uh, based on the data since 1989. Uh, so I would just kind of tread lightly with that. Uh, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.